Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing fine, I hope you are having a good time, I hope you had a great weekend. Today, we're gonna be talking about something quite specific. You guys love Arkazar decks, and I do too. I certainly, I swear to god, this was my first favorite deck in the game when I started out. Pool 1, man. Kazar is a fun, fun, fun uh, deck to play, so I thought, why don't we switch it up a little bit and make something ultimate out of it. Something that still works in the range of 85. And um, I got this endgame zoo deck, which is really awesome because I fit Shanna into it. And Shanna is actually a pretty cool card. Many people don't like her, but I think people are sleeping on her. And, you know, I think I've seen her three times in all of the games I've ever played in Marvel Snap. Look at this. I'm rank, uh, I'm collection level 4,548. And I think I've seen her just a few times. Not a lot. Not a lot at all. And I want to make her, I want to make her work because nobody else does. So, uh, Shanna is in that deck. So, let, let me show you what we have here. We have quite a lot of synergy going on. So, uh, Zero actually makes perfect sense, uh, sense in this deck. First of all, because it's a one-cost card as well. Uh, you can zero out Titania uh, and Ebony Maw. These are the two cards that you can zero out on. And they just work like a char uh, charm. Um, we have in here, of course, Squirrel Girl. She's gonna fill the board with ones. You should already know this by now. Even though if you're new um, and you just want to check out some Kazar decks, I have some beginner Kazar decks on my channel, so just type in Kazar on my channel and you will find it. Um, yeah, Shanna we have in here as well because on reveal she does throw uh, one cost cards onto the board. That was the door, but I have somebody opening that. That's good. Uh, on the other side as well, what's really, really cool about this is as well, um, because, you know, I usually play her in turn six, um, but you can do otherwise, you know, you can do something else. But I think tur on turn six, it's quite unexpected. If you would, for example, uh, drop, uh, where is it, Kazar and Blue Marvel, and don't have much on the board, you know, and then you drop um, Squirrel Girl and Shanna, you know, that is really awesome because that's going to give you six uh, one cost cards onto the board that are going to get buffed by um, them as well. So. It's something new, it's something I came up with myself, I haven't uh, looked this deck up, I've played a few games with it, I won three games in a row, so I don't know if it's like the best ultimate Kazar deck in the world, but it's certainly something really interesting, because you can keep dropping uh, Kitty Pride as well, she's gonna get buffed as well, I actually thought of bringing in... Um What's his name? Sunspot as well. Uh, maybe exchange it with Rocket Raccoon or Iceman. But um, yeah, I like Iceman just for a little bit of disruption. It could really annoy you. And you have the, the possibility to drop bombs early on or later on in the game, you know? The uh, nice thing about it here as well is that the hood is going to get equaled out uh, as well with Blue Marvel and Kazar. Um, and I'm still, you know, you can still exchange things, man. Like, if you say, I don't have this, I don't have that, you can exchange it with any one-cost card that you want, honestly. Uh, you can really just throw in something that, you know, kind of changes up the game completely. Uh, like I said, if you don't have any of these one-cost cards, you can bring in Sunspot. Uh, you can bring in, uh, you know, Agent 13 is alright sometimes. Bass is not a bad choice because all of the one-cost cards, you know, all of these ones are gonna get buffed. Um, you can bring in, I don't know. Uh, Yandu for some disruption, not a bad choice either. Um, Ghost, if you have something controlling in there like a Shang-Chi or something, you can bring that in. You can switch this. This is the beauty of the game. You can switch things up. And uh, Corgi as well, uh, you know, uh, just for some more disruption. In general, uh, this is my ultimate uh, zoo uh, deck. I don't think anybody has ever done this. We'll see how it uh, stacks up in the, common, uh, in the coming up uh, gameplay footage, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna get right into it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the battlefield. Let's All right, literally the first game of the day. Let's do it. I'm not, I'm not warm, man. I haven't, I'm not like, you know, I'm not into it, in it to win it, but um, yeah, let's see. I have to get comfy first. First of all, let me uh, do a little bit of camera reposition because that old body has to go into hibernation mode. Okay, so what do we have here? So we instantly, oh, that's actually quite nice. Mm. I could drop a Shanna, but I think I'm gonna go with a with yeah with Blue Marvel, and that's actually pretty good. Uh, okay, so I have two choices now. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go with Blue Marvel, then I will go with Kazar, and actually I will go and turn five Shanna, or maybe even turn six. I don't know yet. I wanna I wanna have this surprise effect, you know. So uh, let's support the lane of uh, Blue Marvel because that's usually an issue. Just to have a little bit more power onto the board. Dracula is always something, you know. Because on Baxter building, that was... Oh, Bar Sinister. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
That's fine though. That's fine though. I have an idea. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna drop Kazar onto Boss Sinister, to be honest. Honestly. Mine actually loses me the lane, but yeah, I think I already Oh Thor, yeah, that's that's strong. Let me see. Okay. I think I have to really focus on um Winning now. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This is good. This is gonna be tough. Boss Sinister. I did not wreck I didn't see it coming. No, not at all. Um, so yeah, Kazar onto the board. Uh, just gonna gives me another Kazar, you know. So I'm hoping for these two lanes, but it's not not easy. Not easy. Okay, Lockjaw doing what Lockjaw does. Wasp also. So yeah, it's, it's probably gonna be a higher evolutionary deck. Mjolnir is gonna buff all of these cards now. That's insane. Look at that. That's 40 power on the board. Basically, I just use Boss Sinister now just to give myself the power, you know, just to have a little bit going on for myself. Alright, so Kazar's gonna go on it. Boom, we're gonna get another Kazar, which is quite nice as well. Uh, I'll take it and uh, we will out the hood. Sadly, I put Nebula down on it, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna really uh, starting to have to build some power. I have to equal out the Dracula lane, and it's gonna be another ramp up. Let's hope for a not a good ramp up. Oh, okay, that's actually pretty good for us. That's actually not bad, you know. For my opponent, it's pretty bad because I already abandoned this because you can see I just used it for tech, just used it for you know some action in the game. So let's see, maybe I can actually get something back here. That's pretty good. That's a forecast. That's a forecast. Okay. Let's do some more damage. Boom. Okay, Kitty Pride on there as well. Gonna be a three cost plus uh gonna go back. Yup. Gonna go back into my hand. Alright, let me think, let me think, let me think. I'm gonna go with this. I don't care if it's gonna hit Kitty Pride. Oh wait, actually. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Alright, whatever. I wanna see what, what, what one cost card is gonna come out just for the gambling aspect of it. <laughs> oh my god! Ebony Maw! Yeah, that's great! Some people said this is the reason why they don't like to play Shanna. Oh my god, I actually won this. Oh my god, I actually won this. I can't believe it. Unreal. This is why people say they don't like Shanna. Oh my god, first game and it was so clutch. This was so weird. Um, okay, so Shanna, you know, dropped... This is what people say, like, if you drop on turn 4 or something, it's kind of not a good way because then Ebony drops and it kind of locks out people. This is why I play Shanna on turn uh, 6, you know, in the end. So she's gonna do what she does. This was a pretty good play, man. I am not gonna lie, for the first game today, that was actually pretty good. I did not expect it to go down that way. Um, yeah, nice, I'll take it any day. I mean, I'm so, you know, sometimes I'm really proud of myself when I'm uh, making these decks and I actually have success with it. <laughs> kind of makes me really happy and it's like one of these decks that nobody has. Like, I don't, I've never seen anybody ha play this deck. Like, this is what I literally came up this morning while being like half awake on the phone. So. Yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting deck, man. Uh, let's do another game. Okay, next game, next time of luck, everybody. Um, what do we have? Uh, Sunspot, Zero Kitty Pride. That's a great turn one. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna build Kitty. Yeah, and then I'm gonna throw down Kitty and Sunspot. Good idea, too. Okay. Let's go with that. I'm just keeping my zero at least for turn six, or if I draw into like something that's gonna work now. I need uh, to get Ebony Maw now onto my... Ooh wee, I think we're in for a treat. Okay, so let's win some lanes here, man. Give me Kitty Pride, man. Need something for turn four, something interesting. Ooh, that was a mistake, my friend. That was a true mistake. <laughs> Damn, he's gonna be so mad about that. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go with that. There you go. What's gonna go onto the board? Probably something. I don't know. Oh, it's a lockout deck. Okay, well, that's strong. 
but is also going to be tough to beat because he doesn't have enough uh, plays left. Because I'm also going to play Shanna. Oh, that's where Shanna is going to shine again. That's so good. So he always has to drop a lane out. Uh, always loses energy. Oh my god. Okay. Although it's flooded. Wait, let me see. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Interesting. Locking me out on that lane? Are you kidding me? Bro, come on. That's fine with me though because I have Shanna again. <laughs> Oh my Buddha! All right, Shanna, save the day. Honestly, sh shave the day, shave it, shave that thing, Shanna. Let's go, shave it. <laughs> what? That would have been so beautiful. Why would you snap and then continue to play and then even with Spidey? I mean, oh Shanna, that I would have loved to see this. Uh, I mean, uh, Venom would have get obliterated into the ne nether realms honestly i mean maybe even not but i think that these cards that, that would have been just too much it's just yeah, a too a good deck everybody Do we have r room um, for one more this was a made a mistake game, i should so have just switched one. two cards out uh, happens man it happens bro it happens bro it happens it happens it happens but okay have any more iceman rocket raccoon okay Oh, we can build tons of pressure with this one. That's nice. I'm actually going to go for it. I'm going to go and fill up Nidavellir, actually. Going to keep one space open because I'm going to go with Shanna's turn six. Yeah, Sunspot's not going to do anything about that. So I'm going to continue building pressure. Oh, that's nice. I love it. Okay, let's build pressure, man. It's going to go all the way over. Ah, okay. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I have to ditch my plan on this one. Shouldn't have done that. But, mm, I'm gonna go with Ebony more onto this lane, yeah. I think so. Because I would have locked myself out otherwise. I, I, I shouldn't have played Squirrel Girl and then played Ebony more now. And I should have played Squirrel Girl later, yeah. I should have played her later. And then I could have played Shanna, which would fill out that last um, point. Okay. Still not a bad play though. I can still. Oh my god. Okay. Why is my opponent so sure of winning? Um. Can I exchange that squirrel? What's gonna go on it? Cyclops is not gonna beat it. Why would that. Oh yeah. Cyclops and Sunspot is strong. Okay. I forgot about that. Uh. Yeah. Blue Marvel, mm-hmm. Good way. They're doing some party outside, man. Let's go. Okay, you can lock me out. Okay, maybe we have a we have a uh, plan here. Maybe we can do something. Because you might actually think there's no Shanna in play now. <laughs> oh, wait a second. We'll just add one. If it's like a four, nah, I'm not gonna win Campley High. It's gonna be Hulk. It's not, and I won. <laughs> oh, you actually went full power on this one. Nope. No, bro! <laughs> Not today, brother! Not today, brother! Nice, that's a good victory in the pocket, man. I'll take that 4-cuber, because I just lost a 4-cuber, so I'm just gonna take that back. Thank you very much! Uh, yeah, anyways, this deck is fun. This is really fun to play. I made a few mistakes, because, I mean, I, I did create it, but I haven't played much with it. I have to kind of, like, do a few swap-outs still, and make a few other plays pl uh, work, but... I think as of now, not a bad deck whatsoever. Tell me in the comment section what you think of this deck, and I'll see you in the next video. This is the ultimate Kazar uh, Shanna, I guess, deck in Marvel Snap. It's awesome. Check it out.